Hello, so I had a bit of a problem here with my Maytag fridge. This is a French door and bottom freezer Maytag fridge. There's a lot of different model numbers out there, but more or less they're all similar. And what I've discovered is uh, uh, one afternoon that uh, my freezer wasn't, uh, food wasn't frozen in there anymore. And what I discovered was that I couldn't uh, change anything on the control panel here. Everything seems to be frozen. So the whole pro uh, control panel is non-responsive. Nothing seemed to work. I uh, couldn't get anything to work. Other people have experienced problems. I searched online and discovered that other people have problems where everything's flashing, thing lit lights up like a Christmas tree, or it has some problems. Um, anyway, uh, what I've discovered when looking online is that the, the root problem is the main control board at the back of the fridge. So we'll have to pull the fridge out and then I'll show you how to access the board and remove the board. Um, I did have some concerns that it could be the front control panel board here because of the fact that it is uh, experiencing this. But uh, I spoke to some other companies that actually repair the main control board in the back and they said it's almost always the uh, main power board at the back, so wouldn't worry too much about it being this, uh, the problem. Um, and it turns out for myself that it was in fact the, the main power board at the back. So what I will do now is we will uh, uh, pull out the fridge and access the main power uh, panel at the back, and we'll do that now. What we should do is to disconnect the power. Now that we've removed, the, pull the fridge back, and then you'll have to uh, open up this panel here at the back of the fridge. You'll need a quarter inch drive to remove all these. So we'll get these off. And then we'll be able to uncover where the main power board is. So now you've uncovered the board you, with a quarter inch drive. You'll need to get in here and you'll need to uh, open this. Uh, plastic cover, just remove that carefully and then expose your board so you basically remove these by pressing here on the little tab and just jiggle them off so get all four of those off there's one up here, the tab is at the bottom here there, so that uncovers the board then with a screwdriver, you can either use a screwdriver to get under there or you can just use your finger to press down and we can remove this board off. With that, you'll just be able to pull the board right out. So here's my old board and uh, right over here you will see the, uh, the part number. And I used that part number, I searched online and I was able to find uh, a company here locally There's the uh, part number there, the matching part number. So we'll take the new board out and it's uh, identical, you can see pretty much to the old board. It's pretty much identical. The two boards are identical. Um, the only thing that I noticed is, is a couple of these resistors are a little bit larger than on the older board. Maybe they're a little bit more robust. So we'll put this uh, New board back in. Be careful when you're uh, doing that because like any printed circuit board, um, you're very sensitive to electrostatic discharge. So I would be very careful about handling the board. Make sure you've discharged yourself. So just clip that back in with those two clips at the bottom and then you're all set to go here. Let's put these clips all back in, line them up nicely and just clip them all back in. The top one. Sorry for the shaky video. Just make sure you get those wires all nice and neat back up in there. And then the last one here. Okay, so once you've got that all back in, then we can put the uh, cover back on, so let's do that. So now I'm just going to fit this cover back in here. Get that back in there nicely. Put that on. Make sure it's good and clipped in there. 
and you'll have to put this cover back on make sure that that side goes in there first and line up the holes and we'll put the screws back in okay so now just put the screws back on not too forcefully let's get them on that's it cover back on you can uh, put plug the fridge back in and you should be ready to go okay put the fridge back in now the uh, we have the <clears throat> board installed and of course now you have to reprogram uh, that board so what you need is the code the code you will find here inside the fridge there's a sticker in your fridge and this one here is showing here code 1720 so that's the number we'll have to enter into the fridge so let's get that entered so to do that uh, what you'll have to do <coughs> is you have to press the uh, there's a button here uh, sorry yeah there you go you see how that decimal place is moving over as I press the up key so with the decimal place here uh, what you'll do is you'll use the um, this, this uh, up button so we're going to go to one now we need to move the decimal place over again so we're going to go up one now the decimal place is over here so we're going to go up to seven and then up one more to two and that should be good enough there we go so now we're going to press this button down and that's it it should now go into that and just one more press of a key and it should reset there it goes it's resetting now you heard the fridge go off and now it's gone through the recommended setting so with that I was able to repair my fridge and my total cost was about hundred and fifty two dollars for the part plus tax so about hundred and seventy dollars once you've installed your main power board and if you're not in a program mode, you need to get it into program mode. The way to do that, you press the door alarm button first, then the freezer temperature down control button. Hold for three seconds, release the door alarm, and you'll see it goes into program mode. And you'll see it goes into PE. My code is already entered, 1720, but if, uh, if it will be PE000 when it starts off, and then you just use the up button to move the decimal over uh, to wherever one you want to move it so once the decimal is there you can move and change the buttons around so go to the end once you're at the end press the down button and it'll flash and once you've done that you can press any key any key you want and it'll should reset and that's it it reset and it'll go back to you can hear that fridge now going back to normal start Okay, hope you liked this video, hope you found it helpful and uh, were able to save yourself some money. If you did, please subscribe, please like the video. Thank you.